Today is a good day. Finally, we have ChatGPT plugins. They can even go online, live data. We can crawl other websites and we can figure out how to use this process, how to use ChatGPT plugins to rank higher on Google. That's what we're gonna do in this video. Let's review some plugins. Let's figure out how to use them for SEO. Let's figure out how to dominate our competition, rank higher and make more money. So first things first, you'll notice that things look a bit different, right? ChatGPT4, all these different things. Everyone is eventually going to get access here, but to check if you do, go to settings, click beta features, web browsing and plugins. I have both of them on this system now, but you need ChatGPT Plus in order to do any of this. So to begin, make sure you're on ChatGPT4, click the plugins here, and look, you can go down to the plugin store, click this button, and all of a sudden you have access to all of these different things. I mean, this must be 40 or so, but I've already done the hard work and figured out which can be used for people like us, people who want to rank higher. So there's an AI for that, has some use case, world news, Brainwork, Yabble, Prompt Perfect, Web Pilot, One Word Domains, Scholar AI, and Keymate AI Search. Now I'm gonna show you an example of one of these that worked out really well. So look here, this is a prompt that I used, but what tool was I using? I was using Web Pilot. Web Pilot is insanely strong, right? So let's just click through the toggles, click things done in one click. Yes, disagree, fight with the tech, cu uh, fully customizable. It's really good. So here's a prompt that I used. Scrape top 10 SERPs, so search results. These are the things that show up in Google for keyword philodendron pink princess care guide. So in other words, when someone types this into Google, look at all the top websites and give me a comprehensive header outline for an article that includes everything these articles, articles speak upon as well as what they are missing to rank for this keyword. Focus on care guide keywords. And look here, it did it. You can click here and you can see all the back end stuff that it did, right? We don't need to see this right now, but you can see URLs in there. You can see which websites it was going to. It's actually going to the top 10 SERPs. And then it spit out this crazy uh, outline for an article. Very good. If you wanna do some 80-20 SEO, you wanna roll with it, this here is super powerful. I'm gonna show you how to use this to really dominate the competition. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I'll show you other tools and I'll show you another prompt that I'm using with WebPilot. So look here, scrape the top three SERPs, so just the top three for the same uh, keyword and give me a comprehensive SEO strategy to outcompete them, include an exact keyword density given via a detailed table, LSI potential, and an in-depth H2 outline. So I wanted to see how it did. And it, it did a lot of things, right? Instead of just the one um, blurb of code that it was running through, gave us four. So let's see what it said. Based on the analysis of the top three SERPs for the keyword, here's comprehensive SEO strategy. So it said keyword density, um, the keyword this should be used in the title. Well, yeah, we know that. Let's see if it does any good though. Um, a good practice is to maintain a keyword density of one to 2%. So that was not very helpful, but the LSI keywords is helpful. Um, let's see here. These can include pink princess, philodendron propagation, light requirements, uh, water in, soil, temperature, toxicity. Okay, great. The H2 outline was similar, but not as good. And the content gap, this is what's interesting. The top ranking articles do not much provide much information on the propagation of pink princess philodendron. Including a detailed section on this topic could help rank better. Okay, also consider adding more visuals like infographics or videos to make the content more engaging. Not bad, right? Not bad, pretty good synopsis. Let's take those results and compare it to the regular web browsing of ChatGPT. This is no plugin, this is just web. I said, compare this URL. Um, so I have a Bonsai Mary article on Philodendron Splendid Care Guide um, with the other SERP results, blah, blah, blah. So this is what ChatGPT did, it shows us. Exactly, it went to Bonsai Mary, like the URL I provided. Crazy, right? This is one of my websites. And then it said reading content, it searched for this into Google, it clicked on this website, clicked on this website. It looks like it kind of didn't do what we asked it. We said other top search, maybe I should have said top three, but it's cool that it shows ex exactly what it did. Reading content failed, huh. It did one other, houseplantauthority.com, nice. But then it's kind of recommendations weren't that strong. So I would recommend that we still use the plugin we are using previously, still use WebPilot, over the native ChatGPT web browsing. Now there are other plugins, right? Like World News, we can come to World News, let's toggle off of WebPilot and say, tell me the latest in Baltimore. Just Baltimore, that's kind of where I am in Maryland and Baltimore. And let's see what it comes up with. So it's using World News 
And if we click down here, we may be able to see. So search Baltimore, boom, all these different things, titles. Here are some of the latest news headlines from Baltimore and the surrounding areas. The Navy Stadium is part of the community in Admiral Heights. I think it will provide a URL. Sometimes it even provides a picture. So let's see here read more there it is so what can we use this for so this is 516 that's two days ago not bad um, so basically what this does it crawls it can grab things very specific if you have a news related website or if you want up-to-date information on your niche you can use this plugin it's not bad at all so that was world news let's toggle off of that let's come down to scholar ai so it says unlock the power of scientific knowledge with fast reliable and peer-reviewed data at your fingertips cool I'm going to say provide recent data on, I don't know, Amazon frogs. Let's go. So why is this potentially powerful for SEO? If in your article, in your website, you can provide, and let's see here, it's working right now. If you can provide up-to-date scientific data, actual numbers and link out to it, shows that you are considering the authority, you know, the authority of this thing. Let's see here. It says used, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Let's see what it can pop out. Very interested. I can see stuff like ec ecological niche model transferability of the white star apple in the context. I don't know. That seems to be going off course a bit. Let's see how this does. But the bottom line is I was, I was excited about this because if it can provide really good data that we can just link to, it's very hard to find this typically to use Google to find scientific data. kind of stinks. But if this can do it for us, let's see what it does. Uh, it used it yet again. Let's look down here. Wild gut. Blah, 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 blah. All right, here it goes. Recent research on Amazon frogs and other wildlife species has shown that their gut microbiomes, okay, this is above my pay grade, respond differently to anthropogenic landscape disturbances. Not sure what any of that means. But the point is, we could click here and hopefully it pulls up. Now it gave us a 404 um, URL. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Let's look at the 404. Okay, let's go up here. Let me click here. DX. Okay, it worked. It worked. So it linked out accept all cookies to a scientific paper relating to what we asked it to do. And it's doing a synopsis. Not bad. So the goal with this one is if you if, if you're in a niche that you know data is important, use this one. Use scholarly AI, the ChatGPT plugin. Pretty useful. Okay, that was scholarly. Let's go to one word domains. Check the availability of a domain and compare prices across different registers. Sounds pretty cool. All right, I need a domain on something related to tech, preferably one word. Let's see what comes up. So tech, I need something tech and kind of do. I have a client that is considering this. Sure, I can help with that. Let's generate a few tech related one word domain names and check their availability. Please hold on. Okay, this is cool. Let's let it cook. Okay, it said, I'm sorry, but it seems that all the suggested domains are already taken. Let's try some more unique names. Okay, great. Let's see what it does. <laughs> it says, it seems that these domains are also taken. Let's try some more unique names. How about we try some tech related words with different domain extensions like io.tech.ai. All right, that's fine. Okay, so it's automatically doing this. I like this. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, it says, great news. The following tech-related one-word domains are available. Techglyph.io, techquanta.io. Let's click on one of these. So I think, yeah, it's going to send us to their platform. I think that's their pool. They want you to go. Let's see, it's loading here. Okay, I, I think I get what's going on. So this is a service that probably links you up with GoDaddy or a different registrar. Um, enabling them to kind of get a, a finder's fee, right? Uh, I don't know if I like it. I think they got a little while to go. I'm not sure. I'm not sold on this one. So that was one word domains. Let's go to prompt perfect. It says type perfect to craft the perfect prompt every time. Let's try it out. Give me a prompt to grab, Ella, no, 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 uh, keyword density on top three SERP results for any keyword. This is what I want. I want this. Let's see if it can do it. Give me a prompt to grab the top. All right, let's see. Okay, it gave us an error. Let's regenerate. Sometimes I've noticed that happens with ChatGPT plugins. Okay, sure. Here's a prompt that you can use. Please find and provide the kilowatt density. Oh, whoops. You see what I did there? KW, that's kilowatt. Oh my gosh, that's, that's my fault. All right, let's try again. So we're going to go, please provide a prompt to grab keyword. Sometimes words matter, right? All right, let's try again. Yet again, an error. Let's try one more time. 
All right, using prompt perfect, it's scrolling, it's looking like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Give me a prompt to grab keyword density. Okay, hopefully this one works. All right, sure, here's a prompt you can use using a keyword analysis tool to determine the keyword density of the top three results on the search engine. Okay, for the keyword, insert keyword here. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't look too good. To, I mean, what do you think? Is Tell me in the comments, is, is that anything special? I don't know. We're going to jump off of this one. Let's let's go to a different one. Now, before we get too far, I do still think WebPilot is probably the best bet. Remember this one, the first one I did, it gave us this intense header structure. So check it out. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this, right? This is the custom article workflow. A lot of you have seen this, but all I would do is push the headers into here, right? If you want information on this tool, just make sure to join the newsletter. I would say a care guide, fill, uh, Pink Princess Philodendron Care Guide. And then we're going to try to find some LSI additional keywords to do here. And we want to do opinionated, but we'll come back to this. So we've gone over a few. What else is there? We could do, there's an AI tool for that. World News Brainwork. Brainwork. Let's try Brainwork. Find keywords, generate content briefs, perform SEO analysis, and extract SEO information. That sounds like what we need. Scrap, scrape the top 10 SERPs for this keyword and give me the exact keywords I need to include throughout the article to compete well. Let's just see what it does, right? This is going to provide us an idea for what we were doing previously. If I can put the right keywords, the LSI, secondary keywords, and this, all of a sudden we're going to have an insane article. But let's see what Brainwork can do. All right, yet again, first try, error. Let's try again. Try two, another error. Okay, using Brainwork. So I've, I've noticed all these plugins, they often do errors. It seems like there's no data available well, that's not true. Uh, this could be due to the keyword being very specific or not commonly searched. However, we can try to analyze related keywords and care guides separately to get a better understanding of the topic. Let's proceed with that. That's fine. That's fine. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot, people. Let's see what it can do using Brainwork. Okay, it said used Brainwork. We can click in here, keyword. Okay, it doesn't seem like it did too much. Now using Brainwork here, keyword. Oh, plant care guide. I see what it's gonna do. It's gonna go on some total tangent that's not relative to what we need. So we're gonna stop. We're going to say, okay, Brainwork, we're going to come back to you another day. We're not going to keep on this. Let's use WebPilot to see if we can do what we need to do. So we're going to come down here. Uh, where's WebPilot? Let's grab this. Let's see. Did I save the SERP? All right. Scrape top 10 keywords and give me a exact list of secondary keywords to include in, in my article based upon what competition is doing. Let's roll with it. Uh-oh, I have two plugins enabled. Look at the top there. You see the two icons, Brainwork and WebPilot. This could provide an issue. This might give us an issue. Let's see what it does. All right, it gave us an error. So I know we can combine plugins, at least it, it seems like you can, but I've never got it to work, right? So let's just stick with WebPilot, just WebPilot up here, and let's see if it can do it. Something, please, anybody, give us the secondary keywords. So WebPilot, like I said, seems to be pretty darn strong. Um, using WebPilot, let's see what it's doing. Yeah, look at that, I like it. Based on the top 10 research, uh, research results, here are some of the secondary keywords you might wanna include. All right, temperature, light requirements, philodendron, water in. These are kind of like H2 headers. So yeah, they're all like H2 headers. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's let's try something else. I think it's my, my um, prompt, that's the issue. Scrape the top SERPs, yes, and give me a list of let's try LSI keywords. Maybe that's better. Let's try. Let's see what this does. So using WebPilot yet again. Let's click in here. See what's going on. Link. Okay. So it goes to Google. User has a request. False. Boom. Let's just look at this for a second. Let's see if there's anything interesting. I mean, it's literally going into these websites and, and crawling it. All right. Let's see here. The lat latent semantic indexing. Very nice. This is what I'm looking for. Mild temperatures for plants, philodendron variegation, water in, okay, soil type. Really nice. So what we're gonna do, we know it can do it. Let's just grab it, let's copy, and let's push it here, right there. We should probably take these out. Okay, without the quotes. And what we can do here, let's make it opinionated. It's gonna spit out a huge article below. Let's click four, create article, and we're off to the races. So as that's cooking, I wanna show you a few things. I wanna show you this, we'll get back to this, but this here, the custom article workflow, all right, 
is a product by us like me and my friend who i've known since fifth grade i'm very fortunate to know him because he's the lead dev he's been in the nlp space for a long time he's been in the nlp space long before so that's natural language process and this is this is what ChatGPT is built upon models ai models that take a bunch of things and condense them down uh, and spit out articles or other things right he was been in this space for so long that he was using gpus to create their own models in-house pretty crazy right but check this out so here someone so unfortunately unfortunately i accidentally check this out leaked the custom article workflow recently in one of my videos but someone said i've been using it um, with surfer seo to write articles that were consistently hitting the scores of 80 90 before editing and adding the faqs so when using surfer's content editor it gives you about 80 words your articles need to contain so those are like lsis right that should be placed within the article i was just taking those words and dumping them into word galaxy with my main keyword right here he was just dumping them the simple process is yielding some seriously great content for a brand new domain in the service industry that I've built within 24 hours. These articles are showing up on Ahrefs. I have no useful suggestions at this time, and I'm still blown away by how easy this has made my life so far. Right. Super cool. That's what I want. So if you have access to like Raiden, like uh, Surfer SEO does this, I think Pop does it too, Kyle Roof's tool, which is really, really good. Uh, both tools are extremely good, um, really good tools. If you have access to them and you want to give me some feedback, give us feedback because that really helps improve the product. Right. So the goal here is to create the best article um, AI content creator on the market, period. I want it to be a simple input. You just type the headers in, type the keyword and type the LSI's. Uh, style, article length, and boom, and go, right? Very simple. So let's see what it spits out for us. Okay, here we go, 100% done. As you can see, it's it's a mega article. If I slowly scroll down, this thing is probably six, seven, eight thousand 8,000 words. It's huge. You could whittle it down a little bit, but the prompt, right, is here. The style is here, so you can refer back to them if you have SOPs on top of this. Meta title, meta description, so on and so forth. The keyword phrases over here are cool, right? This is exactly what we inputted originally. You can click on one of them, and every time Tropical Plants Care come up, you can put the URL you want, right? Moisture in plants, philodendron pop propagation. If you have an article specifically on philodendron propagation, we'll put the URL here and it has a perfectly interlinked article now. Very cool, right? Very cool. But let's jump back to the ChatGPT and the plugins that we can consider. So the next one we're going to go over is Yabble, your ultimate AI research assistant. Create surveys, specify audiences, collect data, and analyze. Who would use this? But let's just jump in here. Uh, provide a survey for travelers who love going to Europe from America. All right. So what this tool does, pretty cool, pretty cool. If you have a website, a large website, medium website, usually, you know, these things matter for larger websites. You can do a survey and you can get raw data. Like original data matters a lot with websites because Google knows no one else has this data if you want to outcompete people. So look, it's saying using Yabble, what this is going to do for us is, you know, provide suggestions upon a survey for whatever you want. It says, great, your survey for travelers who love going to Europe from America has been created. All right. Here's its suggestions on the exact question. So check it out. What is your favorite country in Europe to visit? What activities do you most enjoy while living in? Blah, blah, blah. What tips would you give? Now, check this out. Your survey code is this. So a lot of these products are hoping we use them further. I think there's monetization like uh, schedules, like they're trying to get us in the top of funnel and move us to the bottom of funnel to use their product. All right. So the next step is to provide the target demographic information. Could you please provide details such as age, gender, location, da, da, da. So you can go further and further with this tool and create a really good survey. I know some of our clients do this. They want to do this further. So we're going to check it out further, but that's Yabble. So as you can see, there's a lot of opportunity for growth in this space, ChatGPT plugins, and it can help us as SEOs right now. I'm going to continue to dive into it. I'm going to continue to press it and see how it's going to help my life, help your life. I'll continue to do videos, right? So make sure to subscribe. Also, if you're interested, I have a masterclass. Check out the description for information on that. It, at the very least, make sure to join the newsletter because that's where I'm pushing out content weekly uh, that is relevant to SEO today, right? If you want to know more about the uh, content tool, it's called Word Galaxy. You just haven't seen the new UI UX yet, um, but the custom article workflow, the quick article workflow, join the newsletter so you get up-to-date information on when that releases. But nonetheless, thank you for watching the video. Um, really appreciate the community. We've zoomed past 10,000 subscribers now. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool to see where this channel is going. I'm very grateful to all of you. And um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.